everyone. It's Sal from the Sports Technology Blog. Today we'll be doing a review on the Titan GPS Sensor 2. The Titan 2 GPS tracking system strives to offer more than just stats on an athlete's total running distance. The insight derived from the sensor provides sports coaches with a comprehensive monitoring tool that aims to reduce athlete injury occurrences and optimize performance. In particular, the management of running profiles and load parameters provides users with a numerical means of measuring how hard an athlete's worked. Despite being a low cost alternative, they attempt to offer premium hardware and a wide range of features to facilitate a great user experience. At the heart of any GPS tracking system is the sensor's capability to effectively connect to satellites orbiting in space. Surprisingly, at the price point they're selling at, Titan are very confident with the quality of their hardware. They claim to be utilizing industry-first technology with a triple GNSS sensor. This means that the sensor doesn't only connect to the United States GPS satellites, but also the Russian-operated GLONASS satellites and the European Union-operated Galileo Center satellites. The benefits for the user is more accurate data and greater product reliability through reducing the possibility of signal loss. This is supplemented by the product collecting over 150 different metrics, providing a comprehensive overview on performance. Although the device features industry-first technology, the unit is still affected by GPS technology's core limitation of not working properly indoors. This is due to signal interference by physical barriers, namely walls and roofs. Despite this limitation, Titans still make it possible to collect over 35 metrics indoors, including step rate and g-force loads through the combination of an accelerometer, gyroscope and magnometer. The competitively priced system comes with all the essentials including a GPS sensor, a compression bib to place the device in and a micro USB cord for charging and data syncing. Pre-tax and shipping, the sensor itself costs $200 US with $15 a year subscription fee for the online cloud platform which is the basis for analysis and video synchronization. GPS unit small size and lightweight is familiar to other offerings on the market. The main difference is the construction of the case, which looks as if it's been 3D printed, as exemplified by the non-uniform striations on it. Despite the device's rustic appearance, it still feels extremely robust and by no means feels like it will break easy. The process to collect and view your GPS data is pretty straightforward. In a nutshell, it involves three steps. The first is the collection of GPS data. The second is using the desktop software to sync the data and upload it to the cloud. The last, is being able to analyze the data on the web application. To get started, you need the following equipment. A Mac or Windows computer, a GPS sensor, the GPS bib, and a micro USB cable. Prior to using the sensor, the desktop software needs to be downloaded. There's a version for both the Mac and Windows operating systems. To upload video footage, you'll need to download the Windows exclusive Titan video software. To start collecting data, you press the sensor button once and then hold it until the blue light goes solid. It is recommended to turn the sensor on 10 to 15 minutes before the event to ensure connection with the satellite has been made and should be done outdoors. Once on, it's a matter of placing it in the compression bib and wearing it. Though the bib was tight fitting, it was by no means restrictive during use. From here, you're free to commence your activity with all metrics being collected automatically. The product claims seven hours of battery life and didn't cause any problems during our 90 minute soccer match. The main letdown was that there is no identification of battery percentage on the device, making it impossible to know how much battery you have left. Once your session is completed to view your data, the device needs to be connected to your computer via a micro USB cable with a Titan sensor software. This can take several minutes to upload to the cloud. To view your session results, there is a further 10 to 15 minute wait. Despite taking this long, in most cases, getting results are not instantly necessary. To upload videos, there's a separate Windows exclusive software called Titan Video. Here you can upload videos up to 5GB in size. The files are stored in the cloud which can be used to view on the online platform. We were not a big fan of having a separate software and would have much preferred of it as a combined feature with the Titan Sync software. Once the data is synced to the cloud, viewing your session results are extremely versatile. As it's a web app, this can be accessed on a computer, tablet or mobile. For an entry price GPS device, the Titan 2 doesn't hold back when it comes to offering a wide range of features. The first screen the user will deal with is the Team Stats page, which is equivalent to the home screen. Displayed here is an overview of all main stats ranging from total running distance to more in-depth metrics like sprint profiles in where sprint efforts are broken down into speed thresholds. The user also has the option to select a particular session, a particular player, and which specific stats to display. Our experience with this page was pleasant. The dashboards and data visualization is aesthetically pleasing, quick to load, and intuitive to use. The Session Explorer page is the main mode and is great for more in-depth GPS tracking analysis. 
Like the home screen, coaches and practitioners have a wide arsenal of metrics to choose from. When on this page, the first thing that catches the eye is the embedded Google Maps satellite view, which highlights the location of your session. This acts as the base of many of the tracking features, including a heat map, which is a summary of your running efforts, similar to what you may have seen on television. Unlike most of the graphics in the app, we found this look rather messy and had mixed accuracy, especially when zooming into the fields of play. Our favourite feature in this mode is the annotated player routes, which are overlaid on the Google Maps satellite view. The player movement tail and showcasing of current running speed made it out to be a powerful analysis tool. Titan also allows a degree of customization with this feature, with users able to control playback speed and select countless other metrics to overlay on the map. On all of the five league soccer matches that we tested this product, none of the court lines are visible in the Google Maps satellite images. We believe this feature could be made better by enabling the option to overlay sporting fields on the Google Maps satellite images, acting like a radar map in the FIFA video games, thus making out a better tactical analysis tool. Although the synchronization of video footage and GPS athlete tracking data is described by Titan as an ultimate coaching tool, we believe that Titan have bitten off more than they can chew with this feature. Prior to analyzing and syncing the video with GPS data, there are some preparations to make your experience better. The video manager page allows users to manage their videos and the sports code tab enables users to create their own code windows. This acts as a way to segregate the video footage into key events in the game and is a common feature of many sports video analysis softwares. The synchronization of the video and GPS data happens in the session explorer. Here the date and time of the video recordings are automatically aligned with the GPS data. No, due to minor differences in the camera time to that of the GPS, repositions may need to be done. Unfortunately though, we found this feature to be extremely frustrating due to the lag. This is regardless of our relatively fast internet speeds. In our opinion, it is a feature which has a lot of potential, but currently as of the review, is not up to production standard. If they provided a desktop alternative, it could potentially overcome the problems we faced. Titan haven't left the stone untouched in creating an athlete monitoring ecosystem. Amongst their features is, is an RPE survey in where coaches and athletes can put down their subjective measure of how hard they've worked in the session. Additionally, there's also the logging of muscle soreness, in which users can select the location and severity. This links in well with their recently launched mobile app. Though the Titan 2 GPS sensor may not be a disruptive technology from an innovation perspective, it provides amazing value for money with a wide range of features. For the price point they're selling at, it was interesting to see them use an industry-first triple GNSS connection that enabled more accurate data and better product reliability. The online web application for viewing stats was in most instances simple to use, had clean visuals, and displayed countless metrics. We also liked the versatility of the platform that allowed the GPS data to be viewed on a computer, tablet, or mobile phone. Our main criticism was that the uploading process of video and GPS data wasn't a great user experience, as two separate desktop softwares were required. We also found the video synchronization tool on the web app to be frustrating to use due to considerable lag. Overall, if you're after a reliable GPS system with a wide range of features, this is definitely worth the 200 US dollars for the sensor and $15 annual subscription. Due to the usefulness of the system, it's a product we'll continuously use throughout our soccer season and most likely for many more to come. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or you'd like to share your own experiences. Once again, it's Sal from the Sports Technology Blog. I'll see you next time.